edition on how to make an application to Italian universities. Now, this application is an university of Casino and Southern Lazio in the region of Lazio. So, let's go right in. So, those of you that have been asking me, ah, madam, what about universities that have BSc program? This university has BSc courses. So, when you come to the dashboard, you come to this international unicas, international at unicas. Please, guys, encourage me by liking my videos, by sharing it, by subscribing, press the bell, so that when I post new videos, you will be the first person to know. So when you click that um, International Junior Class, you come here, International Bachelor, Master's, and PhD programs. So this dashboard opens up. So before we look at the programs, let's quickly look at fees and the funding, scholarship, and all of that. So here, you see the University of Casino, Southern Lazio, adopts a special fee policy for international students. Wow, that's nice. In line with the rules valid for inter Italian students, also for non-Italian students, the fees are structured in. So you see these fees now, is compulsory. This stamp tax, tax and regional tax. 16 euro plus 140, that's 156. Now, plus your overall tuition fee. So let's go and see the overall tuition fee. So this university has categorized it based on um, groups. So this group A, low medium income, source World Bank, is 600 euros. So you will look at these countries, starting from this Afghanistan here, till you see it in Zimbabwe, they will pay 600 euros. So 600 euros plus... 16 euro plus 140 so that's your total tuition fee okay so my nigerian people my Ghanaians, this is where you fall into okay so make sure you look at it very closely then this on another group b you see the countries here they have to pay 1000 euro another group c you see the countries all listed here from down to from up down they have to pay 1400 euros so when you come here, you see the school, the the scholarship, this scholarship, scholarship. This is the regional scholarship. Okay. You look at this place. When to apply? Please click the link to see the application call. Although it's not yet available because this one is for 2024, 2025. You see the matrix scholarship. Invest in your talent. Invest your talent in Italy scholarship. This one has started. Then said tutorship grants. Call for a variety of grants. Are also yearly open to our students that's very nice so do where to check out this university and check out the um, scholarship information when if you're thinking of making an application so let's go back to the courses so here you click bachelor's degree program so this university has three bachelor's degree programs three and then they have five MSc programs okay so let's just use this uh, BSc program as an example so you click so when you come here you come to this pre-admission so we are going to be seeing the admission requirements before we look at how to enroll so you see this is the requirement you see there's something very important here that I want you to take notice enrollment in the 2025-2026 academic program is limited to students born between 2000 and 2007. So if you were born before hmm, or after, you cannot make an application because there's a limit here, 2000, 2007, and you must be 18 years before you apply for this program. Okay, look at another requirement here, overall high school grade points average. You see minimum requirement is 70. And your high school diploma will not be older than five years. Okay? You see the minimum distance. Duolingo is accepted here. But the Landlingo test must include a verification link. Okay? So please, please, make sure you look at the requirements before you make an application to any university. 
So let's come here and look at the enrollment. So he said our pre-admission procedure for academic year 2025 to 26 is active. You have to create an account on this gum. You see, the application fee is 15 euros. Okay, see, application will close when the targeted number of applicants will be reached. So you see what you need. Okay, these are the documents that you need. Your high school transcript plus your certificate, your CV plus identity documents, and then motivation letter. Okay, motivation letter. They also have the list of people documents required from your school based on country. You see West African countries. Eh? West African, which is why, and then you need the last two years of your your transcript of your secondary school transcript. Okay. I already explained what transcript is transcript is the your result sheet. Okay, your result sheet from that SS2 to SS3, which is the last two years. All right. So that's what the documents are required from you. So now let's go to GOMP and then register and see how we can make an application. So this is the place to register. Now you do not have your ID or your password, so you are going to click Registrati. So you see this form, you are going to fill it. Okay, you are going to fill this form. You are going to fill this form. So by the time you finish filling the form, so when you're filling this form there's something i want you to take note of um so here you put your you type your country to come out choose a location of birth you choose your gen which is um male or female foreign student with task task code you click the boss so you're going to put the password that you want so it's telling you that your username would be sent to your email at the end of the registration then you see this emergency and uh, demand. Yeah, maybe in Italian to be showing you demanda the emergency. Is to put a question that you would remember in case you are um trying to maybe you you forget your password, like a password recovery something. So just put any questions like here, yeah, I put my mother's name. You get me? So that's it. Okay, then you press proceed. So you see it's authentic creator con to share. So that is um you have finally been able to register. So they'll send you an email directly to your um your email address. Okay. So so you, the password that you used, you created yourself, remember, and then your ID will be sent to you like it's already like you said initially. So so here. If you put your password, sorry, your normal authentic here, your ID and the password, make sure you click uh, on the link on the we send to your email address to activate it. So when you activate it there, you will now come here and click login. That's when it will be active. That's when your ID and your password will be active. You must click the link that will send to your email. Okay. So by the time you are logging, this is the website that will, this is the exact dashboard that will open up for you. Please ignore this. This is more like a survey. So you will come here, this um house um sign, you click it. So here is the home. So you come to this pre admission international students. Then if you are going for bachelor's degree, you go for you click you up you click bachelor's degree. If you are going for a master's degree program, you click um master's degree program. So today, let's use master's degree. Okay, let's use bachelor's degree program. So it's asking you start with the answer. That is your your so you see this are the information for the three programs that are available. Okay, so you see even here the deadline is available. It's thirteenth. June, that's when the it will end. Thirteenth of June, you see thirteenth of June. So let's say we are going for economics and business. So here now it's asking you for your address details. Okay.
this one is your cap um, postcode just put via via is like streets okay then you put your address here please just ignore whatever you see me feel eh? cv commits the number of your house then you come and put save so here you're going to put your your identity document details okay which of course is your you see documents which let me say your passport hmm? the release body immigration just put immigration number of the document you put your number of your passport location of issue um where was he issued put the year it was issued you put the date that it was expire so here you're going to upload your file okay you're going to upload your passport you come down here you're going to upload your passport and then you click next okay so after you've uploaded your passport so this is the next um skeda you come here so they're confirming the game fees is the course you want to apply for you put here's confirm So it's telling you this is the application fee. So here you are going to attach all other documents. Okay. Okay. You're going to attach all other documents. You have only eleven years of schooling. It's mandatory to upload your foundation year certificate. That is a something called foundation year for those of people who have less than twelve years of um required secondary school. Okay. You upload your high school transcript, your CV, your motivation letter, certificate of proficiency in English, your valid passport identity card, okay? And then so you see, so as you upload, if there are three asione. If you want to add something, if you want to modify something, you can do it here. So here now, when you've uploaded it, you now say Nessun Diploma interact Interactive because I've not uploaded anything. So when we finish everything, you will now come here and then you press confirm. And then you're able to now then pay for your application fee, which it will expire in 13th of June. But know that. If they get the exact number of people that they require for this program, eh, they would close it off. They totally put it there. So this is it. So guys, thank you very much for watching till this time. If you know you have any question or you encounter any difficulty, please I provide guidance and assistance on my Telegram group. So if you want to be a part of that Telegram group, you can contact me Facebook or send me an email. All right. So. This is it about the application. So for this particular course, now you can see that there is no talk. Okay, there is no talk for this particular program. But well, I think the last program, Industrial Engineering, you need talk for it. So please like my video, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you have not. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. God bless you. Bye.